Hey YouTube, everybody out there. I have a serious question <laughs> and I haven't seen any of the alternative media sites addressing this issue. Um, we've done everything we can, or are trying to do everything we can to be as disconnected from the system as we possibly can. So I quit using banks probably about six years ago. I don't have credit cards, I don't have a bank account, I just use cash. Um, we built our new house we just finished and it's paid for 100%, free and clear. And I always thought that was my goal, but as the world gets a little bit smaller every day with its digital, um, I don't know, how, how the digital world is kind of speeding up and putting a noose around people's neck, I, I wonder what we're gonna do. I know there's a lot of people like me that kind of just want to be left alone, let us do our thing, and I don't think this new system that they're rolling out is going to be like that. I think everybody's going to be tied into this system digitally, whether it's on this smartphone that you see right now, YouTube, Google, whatever it is, but it's really clear that AI, 5G, autonomous vehicles, uh, low Earth orbit satellites, that communicate with no latency is the future. And it seems like me and people like me and my family are pushing against this new technology. And it's, it wasn't that much of an effort at first to step out of the corporate world. Um, I haven't worked in eight years, so I retired eight years ago. Um, I have a house that's paid for with Kim and the kids, and everything has been pretty good, but lately I've really noticed this digital noose kind of tightening around our neck of everything is going to be tracked. Um, when the new pokes, you know what I'm talking about, that they're going to require you get, come into effect, I won't be one of those people that that happens to. I mean, I already opt out of that paperwork for my kids as it is for their school shots. So I'm, I'm pushing as far as I can out of this system, but man, the system's really pushing hard back. So I guess what I'm up against and the questions that I have that nobody's addressing, one is the financial system that everybody thinks is going to exist. You have all these YouTube channels that I follow, which I really appreciate their content, it's getting harder and harder to find these people now because YouTube's deleting them, but they want to push gold and they want to push crypto. And I have huge concerns with that because the idea that gold is going to be worth something when people can't eat is ridiculous. I mean, that's just a system that I think had its time, had its place, but it's not the future. And if it is the future, it's going to be a long way out to where we go through a lot of struggles, a civil war, and a lot of other issues that finally put it back on the gold standard. But I think initially owning it, I don't, I don't see spending my money on it anytime soon. And then there's that, there's that funny idea of spending money. I mean, what's money going to be if the system collapses and it goes to a crypto? Then you're going to be forced to be in a digital-based currency where everything then is tracked. And that's not a system that I want to be in either. So there's all these people that are thinking, hey, I'm going to be rich off crypto. I'm going to be rich off gold. You're going to be rich, rich, in a digital system that I don't want to be a part of. I'd rather be poor and free and not hungry and not a slave to this new system then have a hundred zillion whatever they dictate the new currency is going to be. And gold and crypto is not going to get you there because gold is old, it's an old idea, and you can't eat it, and crypto puts you in that digital matrix. So I really wonder, nobody's addressing it. Um, I think there's a lot of incentives for these um, alternative media hosts to be backed by these crypto and gold companies, and I have yet to hear 
a response of how they plan on navigating this world if it becomes a digital system. Because you're still in that digital system with Bitcoin or whatever digital blockchain system that they dictate they're gonna use, where every, every move is tracked. And I don't know the way out, I don't. I wish I did, I'm trying to, I'm doing everything me and my family can do to get out of this system and it's just happening faster than I can get away from it. So um, I'm just kind of curious. I put this out here. I haven't had Facebook for about a month now, and normally this is something I would ask uh, my Facebook friends, but I did a big purge, got rid of about 800 friends, um, and I only have about 170 on there, and I haven't been on there in like a month because that, that Facebook is another one that's just completely toxic and it wasn't doing any good for me or my family or my motivation or anything for, for the lifestyle that I want to live. So I'm reaching out to you, alternative media sites or anybody that has the same idea as me and my family of where do we go from here? What's the next step in this, in this life? So here's a, here's a quick thought I have. Like we're, I'm pulling into my house right now and I'll flip it around maybe if I know what I'm doing here. Let's see. Oh my gosh. Okay. I don't know how to flip the camera around. That's horrible. Hang on, bear with me. So how do you flip the camera around? God, I'm such a rookie at this. This way, this way. Nope, I guess I can't. So I'll just do it this way. So I'm at my house. Where is it? Where is it? That's all paid for. And we have an acre of dirt. We're gonna do a garage out there. We have a big garden plan down there. We have a huge chicken coop and duck coop uh, plan out back. Um, we're gonna eventually put solar on the roof and an inverter that directs it towards our house before it feeds it back to the grid. Um, over here, we're gonna do a, a big diesel generator not big. I mean, this house is super efficient. We ran all mini splits when we built it, so um, it doesn't need to be that big of a diesel generator. But I have a 500-gallon diesel tank um, that we're going to sink halfway in the ground. And I'm doing everything I can to, <laughs> I guess you could call it, outrun this system. But here's my, here's my biggest hang-up. We travel a lot in this van. This van right here has been 30 or 40,000 miles of exploration and just good times getting us to places that have seasons and really that we'd rather be. So, oh, we got a couple, got a couple bunny friends down there. I don't know if you can see them. And I think we're torn to the point now where we love this house, we love this place, but where this world is taking us I'm not sure that it's going to be a stay in one place type of deal because what we're going to be up against oh can you see them they're getting close where's the other one there it is what's up bunny <laughs> there there's one thing that you can't outrun in this world well two and they've said it for years and it's death and taxes and that's i'm not i'm not afraid to die because i know my place i'm afraid of the taxes because at the end of the day, everything we've built here with the chickens, with the food, with the everything we can to be off grid and be away from everybody. I mean, we're out in the county. We don't have really have remote neighbors. We're not in the city limits. So I've pushed out here for the last couple of years because I knew this was going to be closer to where we needed to be. But the thing that we're not going to outrun is property taxes. And I think that's one of my biggest challenges is if this new system goes digital, it's going to push me and Kim to be in this digital system to pay for our property taxes for this house that we have that's paid for. So it's getting to start to feel like all of this is for nothing because at the end of the day, if that digital system comes in and we can't pay our property taxes, they're going to take what we have. And it's a big circle between not wanting to be in the system and not knowing your place. And I just, I wonder if anybody has any input 
as far as other than hey go get a sailboat which i'm not i'm not a sailboat kind of person not a big fan of the open ocean so that is one thing that people have said hey just buy a sailboat and live on the water like it's not that easy i have a, a 12 and a 13 year old boy um we have four more years of five more years of school you know if that exists who knows anymore but really what oh, look how close that guy is what's up buddy I don't know what the future holds. Nobody knows what the future holds. But it's becoming really hard to want to be a... I mean, you can label me as a prepper if you want. I want to be more prepared than the next person so that way when the cities consume themselves, I don't have to go to the store and my family's taken care of. But at the end of the day, if this digital system comes into play, we, they're going to force our hand, whether it's medically whether it's financially, um, and I think they've put all those devices in place over the last 50 years with the police, the taxes, the codes, um, the enforcement, you name it. They've been building this, this structured system that they knew one day would get to 2020. And when they flip that switch and everything goes digital, I don't know how to get away from it. Um, we can kind of resist. Oh man, look right at my feet. What's up, buddy? We can kind of resist as, as long as we can, but I haven't seen anybody talking about it, and I'm really curious. So if you watch this video, give me thoughts in the comments, make a video about it, and post the link on my page, because I'm really at a loss. I don't mind taking that van, putting four-wheel drive on it, putting a high top on it, maybe having a trailer, and being mobile, and having a mobile setup in case that's the direction it takes us. I, I don't... I love that life. I love life on the road, but I've got to imagine that life on the road is not going to exist either if everything's digital. I'm not going to be able to buy fuel with, um, you know, I'm not going to be in a digital system to buy fuel. So give me thoughts, please. Anything will help. Um, I am right with the man, so <laughs> I get it. We're trying to outrun something that uh, the book's already written. But I'd like to be uh, a little more prepared than the next guy, I guess. So any thoughts are appreciated. Thanks, guys.